all right youtube this is part two of the um quick links battery monitor 2 with the built-in bluetooth 4.0 the bm2 so this is the 12 volt system i have here if you guys can see i have a uh, uh, these batteries you guys been seeing on my testing um i have eight of these batteries i want to monitor so i have um one of them is a 12 volt and uh 22 amp hours each so i have eight of them i have four here and four on the other box right there so i just installed if you guys you guys have already seen my video this is the the monitoring system i installed see that um it has this the scanner for the uh, bar scanner for the app you can download an android so you see it says right there and i'm going to be taking you to the application of this android it takes a six volt to 22 so to 20 volts sorry it takes about uh, one milliamp from the battery so you guys can see i got already have my my auto auto xs battery charger just to show you it's a nice charger it's uh, uses for motorcycle cars even on a uh, time for cold or frost and that's the voltage right there 13.5 the battery thing is already installed one on the other side where it draws and the other one negative on the other side i already have the alligator clips connected so I'm going to be bringing you to my phone here to show you the app, how everything is running. Right now, you see it's sitting at 13.56. Uh, 13.5. This one only have about uh, one decimal point. So it's a 13.5. So it might be the same. There we are. It's a charging, which um, uh, it senses the battery, but I haven't turned the... Uh, device yet so I'll demonstrate right here and see so I'm turning it on now it's a motorcycle so it's going into 13.6 which I have right here 13.6 very accurate it's transmitting wirelessly so let's go to a car see 13.8 charging these are 14 already 14 50 something and it's showing now it's charged the batteries are charged okay so at 14.47 volts i'm gonna put it into the frost mode see it's gonna jump 14.75 14.6 14.6 so it's very accurate. So I'm going to show you some cool features here. I'm going to leave that one. Battery is still blinking. Here's a graph. So I want to take you to this. So let's do a, a cranking test. Okay. All right. The cranking test. This is the one I didn't even get to work right now because of the, the 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 batteries are not connected to a car powered by alternator because it knows when the car is cranking so let's go to the charge okay this is what is shown right here this is a cool one i'm gonna show you i like this better so okay sorry your light there we go and start Look the reading. Look what he's doing. He says charging system abnormal. Remember, I have it on the frost. So the batteries are not cold. You can only use that frost when you're charging. When the car has been sitting outside, the battery is dead and you want to put more juice into it. So I'm gonna change the, the, the charging system here. Let's go back here and change it to 
instead of uh, this we can go back to the normal charging now we're gonna test it instead of normal uh, thing let's see here see that uh, I want that you guys can see the start button but the light is the reflection okay start all right look at this it's supposed to read normal charging now it's supposed to do that there it is now the charging is okay see that so this device is really beneficial this device got a lot of information if I can come right here you guys can read what it says a really cool device I'm so happy for this buy you can pause the video and read it what it says and um, you can tell you the device what device is connected there's another function right there. Daily power notification. You want it to be notified. You transmit in 9 hours all the way to 24 hours. So right here you can adjust all the way to 24. Sorry for the camera moving too fast. You can set different perimeters. And uh, see the cranking. Uh, cranking. You can set again to that and abnormal cranking if the car is charging really abnormal cranking it gives a lot of juice let's see here you can see the Bluetooth so scanning and give us that it's really connected there we go see that that's a Bluetooth connectivity is there so everything is fine this um, trip there's no data right now so it's connected everything is working perfectly and it's charging and uh, this one I didn't get the cranking voltage which uh, is not connected to a car the cranking voltage the cranking test and let's go right here so cool everything is working and fired up it's charging okay it's charging it says charging system okay well this is how I'm gonna wrap up the video I just want to show you guys uh, preppers and people uh, want to store your boat your RV or your motorcycle you keep on a trickle charger and um, you want to use uh, maybe your lawnmower and all the good stuff or maybe you have a shed a solar shed you just want to keep uh, track of the battery with a little solar panel up there and uh, you can keep all these uh, thin monitor you don't have to go all the way to the shed and see it says the battery is charged and everything you just have to have a range to your Bluetooth um, uh, the Bluetooth range you can get into and I can um, you can able to monitor all these batteries simultaneously like I said there's another bank right here or four you guys have seen it on my uh, grid tide limiter test and this is really cool everything is working thank you guys for watching